we share a good friend, coach, mentor, Jim Cathcart. We do. And we talk about this all the time is no matter what level you are, the best of the best always have a coach. Michael. Well, and interestingly enough, Jim and I wrote the book together, Intelligent Curiosity, right? So, I wonder if you're going to drop that in somehow. Yeah, of well, course. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be good at building and monetizing my brand if I didn't, right? <laughs> so we've talked about the, uh, the Ferrari kids. I want to dive into what is a Ferrari kid because Ferrari kids are getting rock star treatment and they're leaving cancer and chronic illness in the dust. I love your catchphrase. I love the Ferrari flying on the banner of your website, but you're really about the kids. What, what is a Ferrari kid and what really is this amazing process you go through with them? Yeah. So we, we have a process where someone simply, if there's a kid that's, well, first of all, I should tell you, it used to be just kids coping with cancer because I'm a cancer survivor. So let me clarify here, Carol, the body of work that you're doing, the work that you're doing now at this point of your career, it's centered around helping people express their personal brand, their online space, because this is where the new first expression is actually being made. Is that correct? Absolutely, Rich. So let's jump into some of your Broadway stuff. And I know from our previous conversation, for a while, you were doing TV, Broadway, TV, Broadway. You were going back <laughs> day, night, day, night, day, night. Do you know you're insane? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I have to say, Greece, when I did Greece, um, I was pandemic brought us in closer through the camera lens. We, we all were home. People didn't like it at first. And they realized we got to see each other in our home with our dogs, with our family. We, we, we got to see your DVDs in the back wall. And the intimacy <laughs> barrier opened up. Yeah. yeah. And now people don't want to go back to the status quo the way it was. So let's start there. How much do you think was already coming in how much do you think this is a new explosion i'm so glad that, to, that you asked me to talk about this topic because it's it seems so timely it's so collaborative in the filmmaking world let's bring it back to the business world and the life world mm -hmm. is that one of the struggles do you think that people are thinking i'm the creator i'm the creative and everything's got to be me run through me and we're afraid to bring in the collaboration. You think that's another one of the resistance level to embracing creativity because to really do it well, and I've experienced myself, I cannot do this alone. Heck no, no, you, you like you have to, if I can work with an Oscar award-winning, you know, cinematographer, composer, actor, why wouldn't I, you know? Like so, you're a TED Talk speaker. You're an author several times over. You're a keynote speaker. You're an advisor. Uh, you, you, you have many different titles. Why focus on women? Of all the different things that you've already got accolades for, why did you say, I have to do this? I feel like women face unique cultural, economic, and social barriers. Okay, there's the fear side. But I also know you talk about the holdback side. There's exactly. a sense that we hold back because of the fear or we hold back because we're insecure. Do we hold back because we don't know how far should we go? Why do we hold back? Well, we hold back because we think that it's going to hurt more to say our real stuff. The audience believes in you. And yeah. this took a while for me to understand. But I remember thinking... They've already hired you. They probably have already paid you. They've already promoted you. People are coming in with the expectation of this is going to be cool. Look who's here. And when you get yeah. that approach, the anxiety also disappeared. Again, I have nothing to prove. They already like me. And that's a game yeah. changer. Yes. No one in an audience is sitting there at an event that they've chosen to go to, whether they had to or they chose to, go, I hope she's bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm on the edge of the red dot. What's going to happen? And I had to go, oh, step back, right? <laughs> so it's, you know, everything goes through your mind. As they're going to running out. They're going to pull you back. They're going to staple your feet down. You can't move off the red dot. <laughs> yes. 